Hello, my name is Professor John Benjamin, and I'm going to introduce you to um, Blackmagic's Da Vinci, da Vinci Resolve, a video editing software that you can find for free online. So once you install DaVinci Resolve and open it up and start a new project, we're going to go ahead and collect your footage. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come down here and follow this workflow and start here with media. Right over here, then you're going to want to look for media storage, and then you can go ahead and navigate to the folder where your footage is. So here is my folder, and there's all my footage. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and select it all and drag it in, drag it into my project panel here. The next thing I'm going to do is create and organize, my, create bins to organize my footage. So I'm going to right click and say new bin. I'll make one for audio. All right, now I have one audio clip. I'm going to put that into the audio bin there. The next one is going to be for stills. That's still photos I have. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, and four stills. I'm going to drag those into my stills folder. And I'll make another bin for A roll. Right now I only have one piece of A roll. And then I'm going to make another bin for B roll. And I have quite a lot of B roll, as you should as well. All right, I've got all of this B roll here. Oh, and this is a, um, I don't need that. And this is B-roll and more B-roll. Okay, great. So now that we have all of our media organized, we can go over here to edit. The first thing I'm going to do is collect my A-roll. I'm going to open up that and then click on that and drag it down to my timeline. So here's my main footage. This is the one, the interview that's sort of driving this whole piece. So let's play a bit of that footage of faculty, staff, and students who care about justice in terms of how do we restore people to community. There's a culture that's about punitive justice and retributive justice. Um, we care about justice that addresses harm for sure. sure. All right, and right there is where I want to end the clip. So I'm just going to go ahead and just trim it like so. And if I want things to snap, I can turn on my little um, snapping right there and then it'll snap. Okay, so now the next bit of footage I'm gonna bring in is actually my audio. So I'm gonna come up here to my audio folder and I'm gonna drag in my audio that I've created. I'm gonna put it down here on audio two. Now my audio clip is a summary of the report and it has some expository summarizing uh, information here and then at the end, is sort of the closing remarks. So I'm gonna separate those two. You can see here by the waveform um, that there is um, no sound there. So I'm just gonna go up here to my razor tool. I'm gonna to cut that in half, then go back to my move tool, and then I'm gonna go ahead and move that over. Then I'm gonna go ahead and um, click on this to link these two pieces together, the audio and the video. I'm gonna move Deborah's right there, and I'm gonna move my audio back there. So essentially now I have my summary, and then the interview, and then my closing remarks. And I'm gonna fill this and this in with B-roll. All right, so let's go take a look at some of our B-roll. Actually, the very first thing I wanna use is a still, because here's a still of the college, so when people, when viewers see it, they'll immediately know where we are, because it says West Virginia Wesleyan College. So I'm gonna start with that still, and then I'm gonna go ahead to the B-roll and use this, um, this drone shot here. All right, so I'm just gonna drag that on. I'm gonna drag it over here and uncheck the link and just get rid of the audio portion. All right, and then I'm gonna trim it down a bit and then move it right there. That's a bit long, I imagine, too. All right, then I think I'm gonna go and add some more B-roll. I don't need the audio. Whoops. I'm gonna right-click on that, say cut. And then I'm going to use some more stills as we explain stills from the actual um, CRJ, a um, bit of their history. And so here's a photo, drag that on. And then I'm going to put this one in next. And uh, lastly, this group photo. Okay, 
And so then if I, I'm gonna uncheck my magnet here, my snap, and then we're just gonna scrub through here. And let's play it. Dr. Deborah Murphy is the director. Dr. Murphy told Channel 22 News that the center began in response to several incidents on campus where certain people... So already I think I wanna trim this one a little bit closer. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make that one a little bit shorter and uh, move this one over. I'll make sure I've got my snapping on. Make, sure, make this one a little longer. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, then I've got my stills. And then we go to Devereux's interview. And then here, um, at the end, I have my closing remarks. Center holds weekly meetings and roundtables to discuss these issues. All right, so then I'm going to put some B-roll there at the end. And I'm going to carefully select one. I think the students walking away seems appropriate. And turn my snapping back on. All right, so there we have our full clip. Uh, if we play it through, I've got um, my summary with the B-roll. Uh, so it gives the audience something to look at. Then we go right to the interview. And then my closing remarks here with some other B-roll. Okay, so now some of the things that we're gonna to have to fix here are things like these photos. So this photo here is too small. So we're gonna go ahead and make that a little larger. So I'm gonna come over here to my inspector. If you don't see the inspector, you might be on Mixer or Metadata. But we're gonna click Inspector. And right here at the top, um, we have to make sure we have the clip selected. It turns red. And then here's Zoom. So I can go ahead and just zoom in until that clip fits. I'll do the next one the same. Just to zoom in until it fits. And the next one, I'll do the same. All right, now the other issue here is the static photos are in fact static and they're juxtaposed next to um, moving video. So what we wanna do is add a little sort of dynamicism to them, make them a little more dynamic. So I'm gonna select this clip here and over here is a keyframe. So I need to put my, uh, my CTI, my time, indicator here at the beginning of the clip, click on the diamond, then move it to the end of the clip and click on the diamond again, and then zoom in only very slightly. And so now let's go back and watch what that happens here. You can see if we play that, adds a very subtle amount of movement that just makes the whole piece a little more dynamic, makes it fit, fit together. So let's do it again on this clip here. Make sure I had clip on the, the footage itself. Um, I put the cursor at the beginning, hit the diamond to zoom, move it to the end, hit the diamond again, and then scrub the zoom just a little bit. All right. And the same thing with this one. Make sure you have it selected, click on the diamond, move the CTI to the end, click on the diamond again, and just, the slightest bit of zoom. All right, now we're gonna transition into the interview. So I don't want an abrupt transition like this. So we're gonna go ahead and create um, a dissolve. So what I'll do is I'll click right in between both clips like so, so they both light up. And then I'm gonna come up here to effects. And here I have video transitions and I'm gonna to choose to do a cross dissolve. So I'm gonna click on this and just Drive it, drop it right there so not so it's not red, like so. And then let's go ahead and play that. Of faculty, staff, and then we have a nice cross dissolve. And I'm going to do the same thing at the end here. Click between the two of them. There, there we go. So they're both green. All right, and then I'm going to do another cross dissolve right there. And I think I'll need to stretch that out a bit, though, to fit with my audio. So let's go ahead and just bring that right in. Now the other thing is, is Dr. Murphy's audio is a bit abrupt. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a transition there. All right, I'm gonna click between Deborah's audio and my audio and add a crossfade between them. All right, so let's try that. Of faculty, staff, and students. All right, we have a nice crossfade there. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm actually gonna move my audio up so and um, click between them and then do a crossfade 
All right. Now the last thing I'm going to do, or two more things, let's add a dip to black at the end. So when we conclude, um, it'll fade to black. So I'm going to go um, back to video transitions and do a non-additive dissolve right here at the end. All right, and you can see here that it's going to fade to black. And reporting for Channel 22 News. All right, very good. And the last thing we're going to do is add titles to Dr. Murphy so the audience knows who they are. All right, so for titles, we're going to come over here and click on titles. And there is some preloaded ones. Um, let's just choose a basic lower third. And I'm just going to drag that right onto uh, video two here, right about there. And now this one, I want the smaller title to be um, below. So I'm going to go ahead and move that down. Let's move that one up. There we go. And so this, I'm just going to double click. And this is Dr. Deborah Murphy. And then her title, we'll say is Professor of WVWC. All right, there we are. All right, now the same thing, There's, or they're going to pop in. So we're going to put a transition there. So we're going to go back to video transitions. I'm going to click right at the beginning here, and we're going to do a, um, an additive dissolve will be fine. All right, and then we're going to do the same thing at the end. Let's click at the end of the clip here and do an additive dissolve. Okay, and then it should fade away. All right, and there you have your entire video. We can play some of it through. West Virginia Wesleyan College has created a new center for restorative justice. Dr. Deborah Murphy is the director. Dr. Murphy told Channel 22 News that the center began in response Oh, we've got to, to fix that. So right there, there's a little gap in there. So let's go ahead and see if we can't correct that. There. So we don't want any gaps, just want a straight transition. News. There we the go. center began in response to several incidents on campus where certain people in communities were singled out and treated unfairly. Student All right, so now we're just ready to export. So make sure you save your work. So then when we're ready to export, we're going to go to File, and let's do a quick export. We want an H.264. Make sure you've got a good name hit export. Then we're going to make sure we're in the right place. So in this case, I'm going to put it in the files where I, where I need it. All right, and then we're going to hit save. All right, and then it's going to export. All right, and then once it's exported, you can go ahead and just make sure your movie um, looks all right. So we're going to go ahead and see if I can find it. Here it is, uh, number two. I'm going to open that up. Virginia Wesleyan College has created a new center for restorative justice. Dr. Deborah Murphy is the director. Dr. Murphy told Channel 22 News that the center began in response to several incidents on campus where certain people in communities were singled out. And... All right, and there you have it. Well, best of luck.